Packers at number nine. Oh, beautiful pass inside from Springer to Robinson. What a pass from Ray Springer. That went in like a bullet. I think Illinois thought Dayton would play for the final shot. And Springer instead said, let's get the points. Boy, he got it in a hurry, too, I mean. There's the yeah. pressure. Here's Grady. Hard off the chicken. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he is hurt. You can tell Hardo did not really intend to undercut him like that. He was the first to try to help him out, but he really decked Grady. Jim O'Brien, of course, out to make sure. Boy, he gets right in Steve Bardo's face. He got right in Bardo's face. Watch this again. Reedy takes a peek and sees Bardo coming. And actually got him with a hip and then across the face. And that's about as intentional of a foul as you could get. That is about as intentional of a foul as you can get. Reedy has had two serious knee operations. One in his senior year of high school and in his freshman year at Dayton. And now Urban Small is pleading the case. I don't know if they're going to. We've never seen Do an intentional to... foul uh, signal as yet, but the officials, of course, have really been occupied with keeping these players apart. He landed very heavily on the small portion of his back. And Bardo's over explaining to his own coach that it was not as vicious a foul as it appeared to be. Well, the problem was, first he not Grevy a little more horizontal with the hip check, if you will. And so as he tried to slap for the ball, watch his hip catch Grevy's right side. Actually, his shoulder. See, now Grevy's down low, and when he slaps for the ball, it said he gets him right across the face. And he lands very hard on the small of his back. We have 24 seconds remaining in the half. It's 39-34 with Dayton in front by five. Their biggest lead so far of the night. A five-point advantage at this point. They've had it on two occasions, and it looks like they're going to take a lead to the locker room as Jim O'Brien continues to fret over the injured Norm Grevy who is now in a kneeling position. Well, he's a good young man in terms of coming back from the knee injuries. As you look at the Illinois pep band, they're not sure what's going to happen with Steve Bardo. Probably a good thing that we're this close to halftime, too, Jack. Give Timbers a chance to do it a little bit. Now four seconds remaining. Bardo comes over to talk to Grevy. And apologizes to Coach O'Brien as well. I mean, that's just the intensity of Steve Bardo. I mean, it was a hard, and if you can use the adjective in a non-detrimental uh, sense, it was a vicious foul in terms of, you know, an awful lot of physical contact being made. But I don't think it was an effort on Bardo's part to seriously hurt Greedy, he was just doing everything he could with his intensity to deny Greedy a, a move to the basket. I think what had happened, as I mentioned before, when his hip went into Greedy and sort of made Norm a more horizontal player, as he went across with a big slap towards the ball, he ended up getting Greedy right across the face. The foul on Bardo is his second, and it is the 16 foul. And, of course, the designated shooter will be Alex Robertson, who will be at the line, the freshman from Chicago. So Robertson will be shooting the free throws, a couple of them. He's an outstanding free throw shooter for a freshman at better than 78%. That's one of them, and Dayton is going to take the lead to the locker room. They're up by six with 24 seconds to play. We'll have to keep an eye on Greedy's condition because if he's not able to play, it certainly changes the approach 